See that? That light's coming from somewhere. Chair. Oh! God, this game is freaky as hell. Do you suffer from existential instability, Elvin? I guess so. I may call you Elvin, may I not? After all, we're like close friends now. What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here. Back in your life with some uber trippy Californium. This game is a psychedelic haze so far with these cutout figures that talk to you and narrator walking you through every damn step. And we have just watched the world transform and this narrator has given us an offer. Uh, he's offered us an opportunity to walk through a looking glass and visit a world so unlike the one we're currently in that who knows what's gonna happen. I followed all the steps on this TV. Do I come back to it? No, how do I get to this unknown world? So what the last thing we did when that was revealed was we opened a, a, a hole into another time-space continuum, I think, with this crazy sitar music and this big ass, big old tower opened up. Looks like the top of an airport or something. But this, this appeared and opened up, so I think what we have to do will relate to that, but I'm not sure where to go. I think I'm on to something here. Th this weird beam of light appeared, right? And I was trying to figure out how the shadows were being cast, and it seems like it must be being kind of projected from up here for for it to be on this wall and then out there and I'm wondering if maybe I can line this up well I guess I gotta line up that part too which means yeah yeah this is gonna work at some point here there Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk about trippy. Even the me the mechanics of this game are trippy. Berkeley. Achievement unlocked. It took me a minute to get into the groove, but this is the start of episode three of Californium. And the game has been trippy and uh, overall kind of caught me by surprise so far. I, I went in blind, and I like to do that as often as possible with the game. So this is one that... Um, I figured it's small enough that not a whole lot of people were playing it, and I wanted to really give it a good go. Huh. Biography of Abraham Lincoln by Patriot writer Elvin Green, Volume 4, Great Abe's Triumph. Oh, how everyone has been waiting for the morning of July 5th, 1866. From sunrise, the people of California have gathered in their masses along Victory Avenue, an ocean of star-spangled banners on this day of national pride. July 5th, weird. Uh, on this day of national pride, the California Republic is celebrating the 20th anniversary in the presence of the father of the nation, the great Abraham Lincoln, great Abe, in person. A low murmur at first. By the way, speaking of cool mechanics, I actually have to type this out. Then a swelling rumble guiding a chariot pulled by three magnificent grizzlies. Wow. A lanky figure stands out. Come on. Against the light. Instantly recognizable. Great Abe greets the throng. Jeez, this is challenging. With, uh, I hope this isn't a whole lot longer. With a profoundly solemn uh, gesture like Caesar making his way. Well, come on. His way. Oh, that's my door. I thought I ran out of time. Up the sacred path to the capital. I didn't think my words per minute 
speed was ever going to come into play in a in my let's plays but uh, i guess it has and y'all have seen have just a message from citizen info political number e42 h07 excuse me patriot writer what please forgive a young journalist for bothering you uh-huh according to my information our security services have foiled a terrorist plot i'd like a comment for the readers of history now i hope you don't mind but i'm waiting downstairs oh waiting downstairs and we are we are in the time and place that we slowly revealed in our old apartment like i recognize this bookshelf and there's going to be a thing of abe lincoln yeah check it is there a creepy old broad standing out front i hope not no a sexy young broad i use the term broad because this is the 1960s people still did that it's appropriate we got a gorgeous the great abe Elvin Green. I've got that right above my bed. And I guess we're going down to meet this young reporter. This young hotshot reporter. I'll take the back door. God, there's a police station right next to our... This is the world we revealed. If we reveal things from this world and then have to go into it, that's going to be wild. Where's that Tesla co? Yes, there's the gas station. Rolling Dice Diner still here. Lots of creepy people and a record shop still kicking. Barber shop's gone. Come and gone. And that cop van is still there this is a new building and that's a new guy there's all kinds of new people let's go talk to the young reporter i can sprint i think and we'll see what is in store for us hello Patriot green i'm so honored to meet you She's have you heard not that sexy agents with the office of uncalifornian activities have broken up the solar con 8 terrorist organization solar con it 8. seems your ex-wife has been arrested for treason what world is this for our readers yeah, um, uh, no, maybe I don't, maybe I don't, uh, so that's a brief introduction to the world that I've created in my imagination, holy crap, that's Abe, that's Lincoln, that's a great Abe himself, the man I've written all about, hello, hey, you're Patriot Rider Green, that's correct, such an honor to meet you in the flesh, I'm currently reading the second volume of your great Abe. Oh, yeah. Would you sign it for me sometime? Anytime, brother. This is a much better world. My info political number is S15061 W813. Uh -huh. I'm a level two Tesla co technician. Right. The great Abraham will forever reign in our hearts and minds. Long live the Republic of California. That's a happy 12th of February. That's a synth if I've ever seen one. And you, you the, the old broad who My evicted me. My husband is totally senile. Poor thing. All he ever does is talk about his father, the so-called hero of the War of Independence. He won't even take his Halle Perry doll anymore. Jeez. Is that an antipsychotic? I don't know. And there's the bar with the stairs leading upstairs. I'd love to see what this place looks like. That's a TV. Uh, let's see if we can't get in the back door. We were able to last time. No. No back door entrance. And this was Weird Worlds, the uh, the publisher. It seems to be closed. Hello, Gramps. Yeah, it's closed. Dear Patriot writer, uh -huh. I'm a big fan of historical biographies. Yep. And you really bring things to life. Hell of a writer. Page. I feel as if the father of the nation is still with us. Him? All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I should say I had a little bit of trouble with the game, and I've had to replay the beginning of this level. It really didn't take that long. I'm pretty sure the last thing we did was talk to that guy. I've talked to these people here, and the girl who was waiting out front of my apartment and I'm coming back to this a couple days later after the game crashed on me and trying to record from where I left off. So if this feels disjointed, I apologize. I'm not sure where we're headed, but this looks like a version of the future where the narcs won, where the man was victorious and the hippies were put down. This is a world where it's very anti-communist. It's very order and authority and... Uh, in this world, I'm supposedly a well-renowned writer as Elvin Green. I've read my stuff. It sucks. Good day, Patriot Green. Hello. I was about to drop off a national security memorandum at your place of residence. Why? 
Why would you bring that to a writer? California's enemies arrested on our day of national celebration. Oh, right, my wife was As arrested. As the great Abe once said, it is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. There you go. The father of our nation can be proud of his children. Thank Happy you. Happy 12th of February. Yeah, this is a creepy... Okay, so, uh, Office of Un-Californian Affairs agents have apprehended Thea Trauberg, I think our ex-wife, for Un-Californian activities. Uh, she will s oh, seek the elimination of the accused. The prosecutor general will exceptionally represent the republic. The defense will not be represented. Yeah, this is the President Trump future, I think. Uh, your past intimate relationship with the accused make you, dear patriot, the prosecution's key witness against my wife. What a weird future this is. Well, hello. Here's the document. Here's the document, huh. signed by the Prosecutor General. Well, let's... Here's the document, signed... See what kind of trouble we can't Here's get ourselves document. into. Patriot writer, you're a bit early. You don't say. The Prosecutor General is still out investigating. He's... He's questioning everyone who approached the woman. Huh. All right. If I may say so, you're as elegant as ever. All right. God, what a freaky ass world. Let's obviously we're not supposed to go there yet or here yet. So I'll go do some exploring. You know, you're not gonna let me in, right? This seems like the head office of the Uncalifornian hey, people. Pete Ryder, someone as important as you shouldn't be out on the streets. Uh huh. We're all on edge. The girl may have accomplices. We have to keep watch. All right. So maybe our ex-wife did some really crazy shit. Are these men in black over here now? Oh, is that, isn't this where this old dude was standing? All right, this world has changed. Who are you, freaks? What kind of a world is this? Feel that light evening breeze? Ugh. It's payback time for Mexico. You make me uncomfortable. What a wonderful day. I don't know what that means. The prosecutor general is questioning your publisher. Right. We have orders to prevent anyone from entering. We do apologize, patriot writer. Uh-huh. This guys all make me very uncomfortable. Let's um continue our exploration and see if Yeah. I figured as much. Alright, uh so that usually means that there are a number six things in the world. Uh and we're gonna My they're gonna be are collecting all the ultrafonic recordings from the North Berkeley sector. There's there's going to be some glitchy things around in the world, and I'm going to find them, click on them, and reveal another world under this world. This one was revealed to me from, like, the drug-fueled 1960s, and now we've ended up in some totalitarian here, future. How long you Ten years? Fifteen? Sure. Oh, Stavros, he never heard to fly. He's a drug dealer. Thea, she was a nice lady, but with those terrorists... She, she lose her, her mind. mind. The UCA agents, they, 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 they threaten Stavros. You start telling stories, you'll be on first boat to Athens. Wow. With wife and kids. Like we say back home, when your neighbor's house is on fire, yours is in danger. He, they were scary. He told. We know you saw her. You're an accomplice. So Stavros tells them. Yes, Thea came to dine her often. Huh. She came to find out what you were up to, Elvin. But how could Stavros tell she was conspiring? Huh. <laughs> Okay, well, let's look around this place. It certainly looks different as hell. Restricted area for Uka. Up here, they got a, a chill-out spot in the top of his cafe? Weird. Yeah, this is their stuff, all right. These Uka people are freaks. Anti-communists. Another one? All right, I guess that means within this office there'll be some weird shit this anything weird going on there identity check okay so within this office weird things office whatever you call it there there's one thing already it's glitch it, see glitching and what the world is beneath this one jeez maybe it's the one where the hippies won hello Weird. 
Super weird. I wonder what this is down to the upstairs. Let's go look up there. Uh, should I check the kitchen first? Let's check the kitchen. Stavros, watch my back, brother. Yep. Okay. Still a kitchen. Man, the world changes a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see how many more are on that TV. Two. I bet they're both upstairs. Let's go have a look. Yeah, definitely going to be a couple up here. There's one right there. A little Omega symbol. Warps a hole into another universe. And one more somewhere here. There's always a hard one to find. This has been too easy so far. Whoa. There, it's happening. See that? That light's coming from somewhere. Chair, oh! God, this game is freaky as hell. Do you suffer from existential instability, Elvin? I guess so. I may call you Elvin, may I not? After all, we're like close friends now. You used to have no future, but right. here you are with a present. However, this world does not suit you. No, it's and weird. And you're attempting to peel back the layers of reality. Successfully pulling them back. Pulling them back. Okay. Um, guys, this feels like as good a time as any for me to take an episode break. Thank you so much for watching this episode three of Californium, and I will be back with you with episode four in just a couple of days. TV. The TV. That's what's making all the noise. That's Omega? It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Wow, narrator comes Curable into the game. Writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. Wow. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. <laughs>